find myself a bit shortchanged. And I think a lot of those who are passport bros do the same. Mm. That this these are our options, okay? Either they have children, they're grossly overweight, they don't take care of themselves, yet they still have all of these unrealistic expectations. Because my father tells me this, a man has to earn his worth. Mm. A woman is born with all the worth she'll ever have. going on with you know black men and women and i just i, I just wish the divide would um I, I wish just wish that we stopped being so divided and stop being so adversarial mm -hmm. if that's am i saying it right absolutely being yep. so yeah like being with like all i see it you, you're needed man whether sure. whether you know it or not because all I see on the internet, like, like for example, I was just on TikTok, mm. and this black man was like, learn your lesson for black woman and go to white woman. Mm. I'm like, woo. And, and you know, and I'm seeing messages like this a lot, where you got black woman telling another black woman, don't even deal with a black man. Mm -hmm. Black man telling black men, don't even deal with a black woman. Our babies are watching, man. Mm -hmm. And and, and they seeing the adults put out this message that black people are not good enough to be with. And that's part of the dysfunction right there. Putting out anti-black messages mm. to the community. Because if you if you if you're willing to cut off all of your people, that's anti-black in itself. It's facts. That that's anti blackness. I mean, can't like ain't no black person good enough for you? Ain't no black woman good enough for you? Ain't no black man good enough for you? You got twenty two million black women in this country, and you gonna cut them all off? Mm. That's crazy to me, man. Um, I I didn't I didn't come here to be long, man. I just um came up here because I ain't talked to you in a minute. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, it's been a minute. Um, and you know, I just want to um appreciate your channel. Um, give a um some thanks to your channel. Remember, the tortoise won the race. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Just because things are slow, that don't, that don't mean you you're not gonna go far. Yes, sir. The tortoise won the race. So, you know, the content is very needed. All I see is degeneracy. On social media, mm -hmm. black dysfunction. It seems like the worst of us is getting all this attention. The ones that want to push the hate and divide is getting all this attention, and and, and and it's making me mad, man. Yeah, it's making me mad, and it's pissing me off, man. And it's very um depressing. Yeah, it's depressing because I, I, I the reason why I subscribe to your channel is because you seem like a black man that love black people. That's why. That's it. If you wasn't a black man that loved black people, I don't give a fuck if you was right all day long. I wouldn't subscribe to you. Mm. Because at the end of the day, you're um, having love for black people trumps all. Right. You got right. these Negroes who don't care nothing about black people, but they able to talk about history, throw out stats, throw out this, throw out that. And they'll say, well, I'm just telling the truth. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't care about black people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and I'm not going to follow you. Mm -hmm. Period. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to come on through, man. Shout out to all the brothers in the chat. Appreciate you, my brother. Yeah. Um, to the black woman, shout out to you. And keep being boring, according to them. <laughs> <Yes, sir. laughs> keep being boring, man. Salute, brother. Appreciate you, man. All right. Black power. Right, man. Yes, sir. Peace out. Hey, what's, what's going on, on, brother? Appreciate your patience, man. Good Lord. <laughs> but now, nah, man, we good, man. So um, to your point earlier about how there's this uh, undercurrent of people when they choose a partner, they being a little unrealistic. Mm -hmm. I'm 35, right? Mm -hmm. So when I was going, when I was in, when I started high school, that was before social media really took off, right? Mm -hmm. It was after like 10th grade, once 11th grade hit, 
everything was different. Everything was completely mm. different. So the thing about it is regarding this idea that, you know, uh, there's a bit of, there, there's a thing that's missing from what you see on social media as far as the male female divide, especially in our community, it's nuance. That's what's missing. Mm. There's no nuance. So basically where two things can be true at the same time. So to, 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 to speak on, um, the pride cat from Philly. Cause I'm just down I 95 from him. I'm in Baltimore. Right. Mm. So I could tell his accent, but to, to, to his point regarding, um, you know, you got to have love before you can, you know, speak on like the issues and bring up statistics. The thing about it is some of us that speak on that, we got so much love for our people that we willing to call out the bullshit as we see it. Mm. You know, like I love my people enough to where I'm going to call out the bullshit as I see it. Because like I said, I'm 35 years old. I, yeah, I was a bit of a square coming up, but I also knew how I code switch, right? Mm. Like I can speak like with a Baltimore action, like, hey, you're, hey, you're dummy, like blah, 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 blah. But then I could also say that I can ascertain from what I've, <laughs> from the things that I've read. Yeah, that there is a bit of dysfunction. So, my to put a point on all of what I'm trying to say is that most men are told when they begin dating what they qualify for. Hmm. Most of we're told whether you're too short, too broke, your dick little, uh, you ain't got no swag, or whatever, which is the dumbest arbitrary uh indicator of whether or not somebody will be a successful mate that I've ever heard. So what do we do? We like, okay, I'm gonna get some bread. I'm gonna, you know, shape up in the gym. I'm gonna learn what I can learn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna maximize whatever it is that I have, learn how to dress, etc. My thing is this, I make six figures at my current position. I just purchased a home, okay? I'm ex-military, don't have a record, none of that, got good credit. I find it a bit, I find myself a bit shortchanged. And I think a lot of those who are, Passport bros do the same. Mm. That this these are our options. Okay. Either they have children, they're grossly overweight, they don't take care of themselves, yet they still have all of these unrealistic expectations. Because my father tells me this: a man has to earn his worth. Mm. A woman is born with all the worth she'll ever have. Now, regarding what you're saying, societal and structural issues, we can get into like systemic racism, etc. That's true. But on the flip side, where is the concept of individual responsibility? Mm -hmm. Women still code access to sex in, in, in whether or not you're going to continue your line. Mm -hmm. And let's just call it what it is. When you see, especially in our community, for those who got their head in the books, for those who actually go to work every day, for those who are trying to grind and make something for themselves, we are invisible. And so when we do arrive, when our ship does come in, that is why we look with contempt upon some of the women of our community because all they gave us during that whole time was they, was they asked to kiss. And in other cultures, the man that's doing those things, becoming an architect, engineer, technician, electrician, whatever, because he built something and because his culture recognized that's what his value is, the women are checking for him. They're checking out him when he's studying for those exams, when he got to eat ramen noodles every day because he's trying to make ends meet. Somebody's checking on him. So when he graduates, when he tosses his cap, when he signs on the dotted line for, for his contract to start working, he already has his equivalent, his female equivalent right there by his side. The same, unfortunately, cannot be said for us because while some cultures, they go to college with well, so well, well, our sisters, they go to college to get a degree. Other cultures, they go to get their MRS, mm -hmm. which is a brain, which is Mrs. Mm -hmm. OK, and there's nothing wrong with that. However, when you look up your nose at the very man that is supposed to be the one that, that is your help me, right? Because here's the thing, he's working because God gave Adam work before anything else. And he was the name and claim everything in the Garden of Eden. Right? And only then did the Most High say it's not good for man to be alone. I'll make a suitable help meet for him. Right? Mm -hmm. 
So you mean to tell me I've been working, I've been grinding, keeping my nose clean, staying out of prison just to lose out to some guy who uh, who 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 got felonies and kids all over town. I'm sorry. I cannot have any sympathy for you when life hands you the receipts of your decisions. So and I'm going I'm to wrap this all up real quick. Uh, you have every right to be attracted to what you're attracted to. But understand that there is a consequence behind it. Mm. There is a serious consequence. So that's all I got. <laughs> nah, you, yeah. made, you, made, you made PowerPoints, my boy. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. you. Yes, sir. Stay up, Peace man. Up. Yes, sir. You too, brother. All right. Hey, if you've made it all the way to the end, please click that like and subscribe button. Also, share this with somebody that you think would gain value from it. Click the thumbnail at the top if you want the full video. Click the thumbnail at the bottom if you want a video that's closely related to this. Again, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. Check out some more of our content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.